Welcome to my channel. Thank you once again for tuning in. This is your uh, first half of August romance reading. Um, as always, guys, it's general. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If you are interested in a personal reading, I'll have all that information down below. Um, so please reach out and all of the selections of my readings are on my website. And go ahead and schedule one and I'd love to do a personal reading for you. All right, so Pisces, let's get started. First half of August. August 1st through the 15th, 2018. Angels, please bring forth your messages for my Pisces group. What messages do you have for Pisces? First half of the month. I'm seeing the number four, guys. Is that important for somebody? I don't know exactly what they're trying to tell me, but it's important to a particular group of Pisceans, the number four. Okay, so just throwing that out there. They just gave me that message randomly. <laughs> okay. All right, angels, bring them forth. Okay, Ooh, we're starting off with calling in your soulmate, Pisces. Okay, ooh. All right, we've got heart-to-heart -heart conversations, wanting to be heard. We also have passion coming through here, but we've got deception coming through too. So let's figure out what's going on. Okay, let's pull some more. Okay. Okay, we have forgiving and learning coming through here. And check it out, guys. You've got the soulmate card coming through. Very nice. Let's pull some more. Okay, we've got all these cards coming through on the upright, so let's pull them. Okay, we've got playfulness coming through. Okay, well, we've got reconciliation right here. Love yourself first. Extra card coming through. Let your friends help you. Okay. And the bottom card of the deck is trust. Very nice. All right, Pisces, what is happening here? Okay. Give me one second here. Okay, first of all, for some of my Pisces out there, okay, you had been in a relationship where you truly felt that you found your person, that your search was over, you you called in your soulmate, okay? You were calling them in and you really felt that you found them. And I'm feeling that this person was someone that you met through your circle of friends, okay? The same circle of friends that you needed to call upon uh, for a shoulder to cry on when things really ended up not working out. Because I'm feeling that there was very playful energy there. You guys had a great time when you were together. I feel a lot of laughter, a lot of fun energy coming through here with this person, but there is deception. So they were not entirely truthful with you in relation to some aspect of their personality, perhaps some secrets they were keeping from you um, about their life. Um, Interestingly enough, I'm not feeling a third party energy with this deception. It was just something else going on with this person to where you really felt they weren't being truthful. Okay. And interestingly enough, the bottom card is trust. So that's something that you've been seeking. Okay, Pisces, it's, I'm really feeling that for those of you that this is resonating with, you're not going to move forward into a committed relationship without that trust. Okay, that's very important. For you but this deception in the past with this uh, relationship from your past it really uh, ruined things in relation to that connection okay now moving forward into the present position the the card smack dab in the middle here is forgiving and learning 
okay? You really needed to do some work in order to move forward from this past deception that you had encountered with uh, that relationship. You needed to release and heal the past in order to experience more love in your present moment, okay? Because I'm feeling for some of you Pisces out there, there's a reconciliation coming through here, okay? Now this reconciliation is not with this person that was deceptive. It, it's someone from your past, yes, but it's not this person, it's someone else. Someone that you really did not think was someone that you'd wanna be in a relationship with. And I do feel that there was always an attraction there, but it just never really took off, okay? For those of you that this is coming through for, it's either happening already or it's going to happen, possibly first half of this month. Now, with this reconciliation will come heart-to-heart -heart conversations because you've known this person before, it's going to really expand your conversations and take it into a romantic way of talking with each other. Because I'm feeling in the past, you guys were just friends, not acquaintances. It's definitely someone that you've known from your circle of friends, okay? But you just never saw them that way. But things are gonna change if they haven't already because this reconciliation is on the table, it's coming, okay? I really feel good energy with this connection. And interestingly enough, moving forward, guys, you've got the passion card here. So it's someone that you're going to connect with and experience a lot of passion in this connection. You allow your heart and soul to sing with joy with this person, with this reconciliation. And finally, you will find your soulmate through them. So it's gonna take some time to develop the relationship and you're gonna feel almost instantly that you've known each other before, obviously, but you're gonna connect into a whole different level and really escalate it further to find that passion in this connection, okay? Because they are your soulmate, there's, there's no question. For those of you that this is resonating with, you will find that individual who is meant to be just for you, okay? But through it all, don't forget, in order to be loving to someone else, you have to love yourself first. You have to put yourself on that priority list. You have to do the work to forgive and to learn from the past and the deception that you had encountered with this previous relationship, okay? Because in order to have a loving, future full of passion and one that is sustaining into the future, you have to instill that trust in yourself as well as the relationship. Okay, so that's a very specific message for a group of you out there, Pisces. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull some uh, tarot cards and let's see what additional messages we can gain from your reading, Pisces, for the first half of August. So Spirit, please bring forth your messages for Pisces, August 1st through the 15th. But yeah, guys, that re reconciliation, it's coming. So be ready for it if it hasn't happened already. Okay. Okay, Spirit, please bring forth your messages for Pisces. Okay, I'll take the one that's face up. All right, so we have financial and material changes coming through here. Okay, um, the bottom card, disruption, okay. So let's see here. Financial and material changes. Usually when this card comes through, it represents a bit of a struggle financially. So perhaps for those of you that this is resonating with, some of you guys have been unemployed or you're looking for a job and it's just not happening. Okay. But I am picking up off of the fact that things are going to be changing 
because this disruption card is coming through, okay? In traditional tarot, guys, this represents the tower, okay? So when the tower is part of the mix, you know things are going to change, okay? Um, it's a sudden, unforeseen disruption. Major change, guys. So, yeah, negative experiences can lead to enlightenment. It's a total shift in your lifestyle. It's an opportunity to rebuild with a solid, positive structure to make situations stronger. And it's an opportunity for you to learn from past mistakes, okay? And at the end of the day, guys, it's a blessing in disguise. So for those that are experiencing the, the financial struggles here that this card is emanating, that's gonna change, okay? So hold tight because the tower is here for a reason. It's here to create new opportunities and change. So it, it may be, it may feel that things are chaotic for a bit, but that's gonna change. You kind of have to tear down the old walls in order to make way for new. Okay, and that's what the tower brings. Okay, guys, so let's end your reading with an angel message using my favorite deck messages from your angels by Doreen Virtue. And as I've mentioned in previous readings, guys, it brings forth not only romance related messages, but really anything. Okay, so let's see what the angels want to share with you guys for the first half. Of August. Okay, a couple more. Okay. All right, angels, messages, please for Pisces. First half of August. There we go. Okay, so we have Angel Bridget coming through here, guys. Her message states, caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. Okay, so this could be in relation to finances, career, romance, okay? So if you are not feeling that it's meant for you or that not everything is in alignment. Um, Angel Bridget is telling you to take caution and to, to wait before proceeding further. That's a very specific message for someone out there because caution is warranted. So before um, taking action, guys, and for those of you that this is resonating with, you'll know what it's talking about, whether it's in relation to a new person you're interested in or it, possibly a new job you're looking at, interviewing for. Just do a little bit more research, get to know um, everything about it before you move further to make sure that it's really a good choice for you, okay? And Angel Celeste is your bottom card, guys. Her card states, a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. Interesting. This movement will usher in positive new energy. Okay, so interesting, guys, because you know how this really is more of a romance reading, but it's interesting how we've got finances and disruption coming into the mix and telling you guys to wait and hold on. Okay, and I mentioned that there's struggles in finance, but look, it's gonna change. And as I've already mentioned with the Tower card, there's disruption, yes, but it's going to bring about new chapters that are good, okay? So for those of you guys looking to move, okay, perhaps um, to someplace more affordable, better area perhaps, um, or interviewing for a job with higher pay, whatever the situation is, there's a happy move coming for you, Pisces, okay? This movement will usher in positive new energy. So that's amazing, amazing, okay? So not only will you really have good things coming for you in love, you've got good things coming for you 
everywhere. Okay, so for those of you looking to move, those of you um, looking for a new job or waiting to hear if you've got a new job, just think positive, guys, because it's coming for you. Okay, remember, the bottom card is trust. So not only do you have to have trust in your romantic life, but just have trust across the board because you've got good things coming for you, Pisces, really. Really feel good energies for you guys, especially the first half of August. So those are my messages coming through for you guys the first through the 15th of this month. Um, I'll be doing more readings the second half of August. Um, I hope that whoever this resonated with, that it really offered you the guidance that you've been needing to hear. And as always, guys, if you need a personal reading, please access the information down below, and I'd love to do a reading for you. All right, guys, thank you for watching and for your support, and I'll be back the second half of August. Take care. Bye-bye.